to, a, to an earlier caller too. The idea then when you get accused of being a racist, it's horrifying to you. He, he said it's as if all the work that he'd done over so many years meant nothing. So my, uh, my response, uh, I didn't know how to quite go about this, but I thought I'd gently say, I hope you don't mind, but I would like to try and raise the money to replace your prize. Mm. And this was on Thursday. And within a day, we'd raised the £5,000. You know, it, the people's reaction was so strong that, that um, I'd get notes from GoFundMe, the, the organisation saying, you know, this is, you know, one of our best uh, funders. <laughs> Can we now talk to the media? You know, we're amazed at this story. Let, let, let me say a few of the things people have said. Joe Solo is the most honest and kind person I know, and he fights for the welfare of the homeless. He gives them a voice. Another person, David Raines. Joe didn't ask to be nominated. He was nominated by the public. Joe didn't ask to be shortlisted. Hope, not hate, did that. Like many who strive for justice, Joe is smeared when the injustice he speaks of offends the vested interests of others. Uh, Keep doing what you do, Joe. We love you and your passion inspires us to be better people. I mean, I, I feel privileged to have be part of this attempt to redress this, this injustice to Joe. And, and I, I, I'm astonished at how, how rapidly people have, have, have contributed. We're now up to 9,748. 9, and, and initially I thought we just raised the 5,000. Now I'm thinking, you know, this isn't a fundraiser to go on forever, but a, a prize to reaward him a prize, which is double the size uh, 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 of the original prize would be fitting. Yeah. And, and let me just say what he said he would do with the money. It straight away, he said, he, he'd identified the good causes that the money would go to. And, and in typical generosity said, I would like 1,500 pounds of the prize to go to the three people who were runner up, 500 pounds each, so that they could also be included in the prizes. Yeah. I, think, I think Hope Not Hate got a bit of a shock and, and they thought maybe, uh, what are we gonna do? He's already promised the money. So they contacted him and surreptitiously, this is not public as far as I know, tried to give him the money back. And, and Joe said, I'm sorry, I don't accept it. Divide that money that you're trying to give me back into, into, into three or four or five pieces and give it to some others who want to give to their... Uh, to, to yeah, their I mean, I, I, want, I asked Joe if he'd come on the, on the show, but he's rehearsing. I mean, that's, a, he, that's what he's like. He's work, he works uh, all the time. Um, yeah. And, uh, but he said he'd come on next week. So if, when we get him on next week, if people can all just bombard him with uh, uh love and solidarity because yeah. joe is one of the nicest people you could ever meet and this sort of thing is painful for yeah him. yeah he, he and, said that this has gone a long way to giving him back sort of a, his sense of you know his, his sense that what he does is worthwhile i mean this this mass of support and it feels very worthwhile and if i can say one more thing it's i've offered hope not hate um, education in anti-Semitism. In Jewish Voice for Labour, they offered him training. We don't do training. Training's what you do with dogs. We, we offer education. We, we try to enter into dialogue with people. We talk to them. We allow them to express their thoughts and, and then we discuss with them whether perhaps those thoughts might, might be expressed better or whether there are things that they need, need to think about. So, I haven't had a reply yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that Hope Not Hate will take up my offer um, of anti-Semitism education and um, maybe then perhaps they can avoid this vicious extremist uh, line that they seem to, to be taking at the moment. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tony, for coming on. Great.